Hello guys, John Fezza here, welcome back to a brand new Explain 11 video on the channel. I'm uh, very sorry for abandoning YouTube in the past. Uh, I've been focusing a lot on uh, streaming over on my uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash John Fezza. Hashtag sellout, Sunday. And uh, I thought it would be good if I, uh, if I actually made a YouTube video. So here we are, we are in the newly released Fly GSM. 727 version 3 professional uh, we're down on the ground at Phoenix I'm gonna take it uh, for a little, little spin over to LAX uh, we're gonna take it to short final designs LA it's a beautiful scenery and uh, I love x -Plan. this is actually the second time me doing my first video back to YouTube the first time there was nothing wrong with the video apart from uh, the audio was bad mic wise and I had an issue with my awful which was uh, that was Albuquerque to Salt Lake and uh, my awful was blue and I, I whatever blame Google so I switched to uh, Google from Bing so that's probably uh, why but anyway we're gonna take this for a nice cheeky spin uh, we're going up to flight level 320 we're departing out of uh, Phoenix today on the uh, Buckeye for departure with the life transition and uh, we're gonna go to uh, Palmdale and then on the Kimo free into LAX uh, probably two five left uh, we're not on any ATC I would uh, this is a beautiful route for pilot edge but for the life of me I just I don't have the will to just uh, to go on any ATC so I'm just gonna have a, a nice chill flight today we're taking uh, 22,000 pounds of fuel and uh, flight time of only 54 minutes, so it's pretty nice. Right, let's get into it. Cold and dark, that's uh, beautiful. Right, so we'll go to the engineer's panel, or the flight, en yeah, flight engineer's panel. Get the battery on, and uh, we will get the uh, GPU in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Beautiful. Right, essential power needs to go external power. And uh, AC meters to external power as, ra as well. Uh, cargo heat out floor will get to normal. Uh, there's nothing else to do. You can go to three two. That's uh, that's all good for the time being. We'll get emergency lights armed. A window heats can come on. Uh, all bricks can go down to your navigation lights. Stall test rip ears. Stall test is beautiful. Uh, right, so we're going to do the fueling now. So I said 22,000 pounds of fuel. We have 25 on board, so we'll take 22. Uh, and we're just going to randomize the uh, zero fuel weight and the, uh, the, the passengers in the cargo. I'll do it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so a bit overweight in of uh, the landing in case we need to come back. Uh, engine failure or hydraulic loss, or something along those lines. And so, yeah, this is a fantastic plane. It's all I've been flying these. Uh, it's been a what, just over a week. It's Sunday and it came out last Friday, so it's, uh, it's a fantastic plane. This uh, American livery as well is a. Uh, Beautiful. So this will be kind of like a two-part series. Uh, this aircraft, uh, I took it from a, a SF4, San Fran. So I went from San Fran to LA and then LA to Phoenix and then we'll, uh, we'll do the uh, Phoenix to LA and then LA back to SF4. Uh, right, the Buckeye 4, let me just brief myself on this. Uh, so flights, I need to add a new one. So, Buckeye for departure. We're going to be departing out of. I can actually, I'll show you this actually because I'm, uh, I'm a nice uh, gentleman. Here we are. So, this is the Buckeye for departure. We're going to depart. Uh, I believe we're going out to the uh, 26. So, we're going to depart to 26 on the 250 he 250 heading. And, we're, and then 50. 
and then at 1550 feet we make a left turn 240 degrees uh, and then at uh, one at 13 DME from the Phoenix VOR uh, we make a right turn on a heading of 280 and then a left turn of 257 towards uh, Buckeye and from Buckeye we're going on a heading of 262 and then 262 up to uh, the Blythe VOR and then from Blythe we're going to go uh, heading of 278 all the way up to the Palmdale VOR and from Palmdale this is where this comes in short route if I can find where I am I'm on okay I'm all the way down here nice so there's the where is it Okay, there's Blythe, and then we're going to go uh, heading, Ooh, let's have a guess, yeah, 0 9 5 into uh, Palmdale. And then from Palmdale, we're going to be on the uh, the Kimo, uh, Kimo 4 or Kimo 3, let's have a look, Kimo, 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 Kimo 3 arrival. So we're going to come into uh, Palmdale, and we're going to go heading of uh, 200 degrees, and we're going to go on a right turn, uh, 140 towards the Sail Beach VOR and then we'll uh, probably just vector ourselves in for the 2-5 uh, left arrival which we can see here they land 2-5 left so we'll probably just come in yeah. nice uh, I got told off for trying to land 2-5 right before so 2-5 left it is and that's, uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today right so the we're going to bug the let's have a look Do 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 do. I'm going to bug the Phoenix VOR, which is a 115 decimal 6. And we can see it's literally that, 2 miles, it's all good. So we're going to have the Phoenix VOR for the, uh, for the uh, DME 13 from Phoenix to make the right turn. Uh, right. And then the next one will be Buckeye, which we'll put on the standby, which is 110.6. Which we can see is in 41 miles, and then we'll put it on the uh, secondary, if you uh, if you like. Uh, that's pretty much it for setup-wise in this aircraft. It's, uh, it's not hard at all, really. I'm just going to turn your lock down. There you go. So you can hear me. Uh... It's not hard when you know it. That's uh, that's the uh, that's the truth. We've got uh, some wing views there. Beautiful USA is very nice, very nice, very nice. Right, I think we start the appeal and get the hello dodge. So we got some fuel pumps on. Hear the fuel pump noise. Beautiful. Feels all good. And uh, we can start the appeal. One, two, three clicks. Uh, we'll get we'll close the aft air stair. There is no cabin models in the uh, 727. So if you want to uh, just have the air stair for, I don't know, eye candy. Shift F1. It's a little Easter egg. And uh, you can have the uh, you can have the air stair. Then we've got this uh, this this guy over here is uh, is walking in the air. Now it met. I love expert. Spin the camera around. Oh, I've just noticed one Bravo one three. That's ironic because when I landed into uh, Salt Lake in the video, that should have been this one, but it is what it is. Uh, I actually landed Bravo one three as well, or parked up Bravo one three. So nice. Alright, APU combi is not available yet. Now it is. Uh, so we can uh, no we'll leave you cut off so APU's on we're going to switch it to the essential power and the AC meter we can come to the uh, options and we can remove the GPU card maintenance is good nothing to report and uh, we've got pressure that's good we'll get uh, beacon light so people on the ground know where we're going. Uh, I'm going to have a taxi chart. So I know where I'm going. Uh, so we're going off 2-6. We're going to push back. Uh, 
what we'll do is we can do we can cheat we can do like uh, a loop a loop in and uh, so that'll be spot uh, November and uh, we'll go because two six uh, it's right there so it's all good oh no I can see it already see see what I was saying about my all for yeah that's what I mean see the blue oh. it's all good it just seems to be affecting over there that's fine yeah and there uh, you know it's that, that that's what I was on about blue all for yeah thanks Google not like I made 20 tiles and it's all blue Jesus Christ anyway We'll uh, set some altimeters. So Phoenix, uh, wind is 3305, as uh, 10 stature miles, 37 degrees, 2986. Two nine eight six is set, so we'll set it on the uh, standby. 86 and on the, uh, the first off side, that's a bit much. It's six, beautiful, and the wind three five zero five. Few at uh, flat level two five zero. That's uh, that's all good. We'll bunk the. Let's have a look. Is the is there any? Should I say? Uh, Sid, restriction altitude wise. Uh no, nah, there's no, no real uh, restrictions. Well, the top altitude is AK actually. So climb heading, yeah, yeah. So top altitude's there, okay, but I'm not, uh, I'm not totally, yeah, uh, not totally worried about that. Uh, right. So we'll, go, so we'll, uh, we'll get better push back to push us back. Seat belts. Captain, this is the ground. So like I said, take you on this fine day. we're gonna cheat. We're gonna swing it all the way around. Is on its way. Right, three, two, zero. Uh, well, that's better push back. Uh, sort us out, as they sit over in this part of the world. Everything is. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. It's looking fantastic. Uh, we we'll get to the hydraulics on the uh, the push. Uh, go around is set on the uh, flight director. So we have a flight director for departure. That's uh, that's basically it. Uh, X-ray machine is off. I'm happy. There you go, the nose can start to be lifted up. Alright, we can release the bricks. That's the fuel. <laughs> a chat we're gonna hit us. Ooh. Nah, I think we'll be alright. At least the bricks. Off we go. Right, so APU is running. We've got pressure. Uh, let's start number three. Engine three. And two rotation. We uh, will in inject the uh, fire. The fire fuel. 20. There it is. Fuel in. Start the curtain number three. Wouldn't start one. It's weird saying number three. 
Not used to not used to free engines. Not used to anything more than two really. And uh let's see the uh valve's gone out. Twenty And the hydraulics on as well. And start a car on number one. We can start number two. Again, we're looking for twenty percent, which is achieved. Oof, lights everywhere. Hmm. Start a car number two. Beautiful. Right, the operation is FPS is lovely and smooth. I uh, recently upgraded to uh, a GDX 1070 Ti. No, I know NVIDIA's just announced their RTX 2080 Ti and all that shenanigans, but. This 1070 Ti is doing me good. It's amazing. I've had three new graphics cards and just had one new, just had one CPU. Just had the same old CPU. My good old i7 87 i7 87. Wow, I wish i7 47 90 K. I'm uh, I'm looking to upgrade that at the end of the year and uh, maybe use the computer I have now minus take the graphics card up as a, a dedicated streaming computer, streaming, recording, editing, all that lovely stuff. So that's the plan for the end of the year. Alright, well I better push back, hopefully he's disconnected. Yep, he has. Cool. What we'll do is, we'll come to up here. And we'll close up the gens, which is basically uh, making the gens in controllers, if you wish. And we'll turn APU off. Essential power, we need to put these to gen 3. Don't ask why. We just need to do it, so we're going to do it. Uh, Gasper, come on. We could close up the engine bleeds. Uh, we could turn on the packs. Auto pack trip come to cut. Come to normal, sorry. Uh, galley power, if I can click it, can come on. Uh, that is looking beautiful. You flight, yep. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, next thing is we'll get probes on. That's pretty much the overhead completed. Uh, we're going to be departing uh, flaps, five departure the day. Uh, the runway length is uh, 11,489 feet or 3502 meters. We'll set the bugs. So we've got a V1 of 132, uh, a V rotate of 132 and a V2 of uh, 144. Uh, trim, we can click the green and it'll set up for us. So nice. Next thing is, we will set the. Let's have a look. What views the best? Oh, we'll have this one. So, the flaps of five departure today. Lovely stuff. Flaps uh, set, five green light. Uh, we'll get to turn off taxi. Everything is set on uh, the uh, flight engineer's panel. We've got no warning lights, such as the gear doors and the tail skid, which uh, is what we want. And uh, I am a happy boy. All right, we're going to taxi straight ahead. Uh, Charlie 1-1, one one, and we're going to take an intersection departure, Bravo one two. So release the brakes, and uh, off we go. Uh, so we'll get the x-ray machine on as well. Tilt it up somewhat degree. Five degrees up will do, mate. Bravo 1-2 is identified to the left. 
TR it, if I was on pan edge, I would have already got told off for that. You know that horrible brake noise? That's because I don't know my rudder pedals. Feels bad, man. Right. Runway. 26 identified. Bravo, 1-2. We're going to get the lights. We'll get rid of the taxi and the turnoffs. Uh, we got strobes on beacon, nav, that's what we want. RT on the auto brake. Everything is looking dapper. Right, let's release the brakes. And uh, we'll line up uh, a runway. 2 6. Alright ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Uh, let's go. F mod doing its thing. Power set. Oh! What's going on here? Elevation. Checked. Um. Oh my goody aunt. Welcome down to uh, Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. P1. Rotate. Rotate. <laughs> I think we're already in the air. What's the right gear up? I believe I'm awful. <laughs> up the Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Alright. I'm gonna pull them engines back so I don't blow them. Alright, left two four zero degrees. We've got flaps to two. I got two four zero. Swing it out. Made that turn a little late, but it's uh, it's all good. And we'll drop the drop the snoop, and we'll let the uh, speed come up. That was an interesting departure. I will say the least. All right. So six miles from Parker. 13, we're going to make the uh, the right turn. Eight miles. And I need a third monitor for stuff like this. I mean, I can put it on my uh, second monitor there. It's, uh, it's no issue. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Cool. So, gear's off. Uh, we've got the flaps are up. Lights are out. That's just, it's just gone. All right, 11 miles. Twelve. I'm gonna get the lights off so I've got less to do. And there's 13 miles, we're gonna go right turn now, heading to it here.
Wings level. All right, that's 10k. We'll go IAS. We'll go 280. So we'll bring that nose down. What a lovely phone call. T is ready. Woo. All right, so we're going to keep this heading and then we're going to go a left turn to 2-5. I'm going to cheat, don't hurt me. But we need to go 2-5-7, so I, just so I get this dot on, I'm going to go 2-5-7 there, and I'm going to sync you up. Beautiful. That'll do. And then we'll change this over to the Buckeye, which is 1106, 23 miles away. Oh, let's sort this trim out. We'll get uh, seatbelt signs off now. I want to swing this a little. We got. Seem, I think we've got a win from the right, so we're a little bit off course here. So, square our side here. And then we're going to be making a left turn very, very soon on a heading of 257. It's intercept uh, Buckeye. And we'll go nav localizer. And we'll make the left turn now towards uh, the Buckeye Viewer. Right, after takeoff, we have the auto pack trip is cut out. Flight pumps are good. Got the seatbelt signs off. The passengers are now getting fed and watered. So we'll uh, scrap that up there. There we go. And uh, from Buckeye, we're going to be on a heading of 262. It's probably there. Uh, to the Blythe VOR, which is 117.4. Which we can set on the standby, which is 110 miles away. And we'll, uh, we'll set as our next frequency, which is 117.4. Beautiful. That was the... Uh, Buckeye for departure out of uh, Phoenix. Not a bad job, really. Really not a bad job. I, uh, yeah, apart from the, we should have made the le uh, the left turn a little bit earlier, fifteen fifty or or above. But uh, other than that, was uh, wasn't bad. Yeah, just reviewing the uh, the. The plate now, no, not too bad, not too shabby. I think I would, uh, I would be alright on pilotage, really. Right, I'm gonna switch to the uh, life viewer, and uh, that was, is our set. We'll set standard, which is 92. Since we passed transition altitude, which. Yeah, transition altitude it is. Uh, right, that is us complete. Hope you enjoyed that departure out of Phoenix. And uh, if you enjoyed, please give the video a like. I would appreciate that so much.
All right, we're cruising on flight level three to zero. Uh, okay, that's good. And uh, we're going to need to start descent now. So we're going to go into the heading and we're going to make a nice left turn. We're going to select the um, seal beach view. And we're going to go to, see if I can show you this, the approach for, uh, we'll check the meta actually at LA. There's 26010. Uh, 26 degrees, a few at uh, 9,500, and it's uh, standard pressure, so that's all good. Uh, right, let's have this. So, we're going to be coming from the uh, from the north, we'll come north to south, we're going to go to the Seal Beach VOR. From Seal Beach, we're going to come into Seal Beach, we're going to go a left turn, and we're going to kind of do a left downwind into 2.5 uh, left. It's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, we need to make a left turn, however, and go towards Seal Beach. Need to make a little bit more of a left turn. Uh, probably about one eighth somewhere. Let's see if I can get one eighth as well. Maybe a bit more. What I can do is I can go. Uh, Navlock, and we're going to start descent. Uh, we'll go down to about 8. Ah, yes, we're going to pull the power all the way. Pull the tab so it doesn't. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, so, sorry, my, my mistake. Look at this beautiful awful. It's what I love about flying in America. I've got, l got a nice uh, section of awful. Apart from a lot of blue tiles, which I, uh, I don't have a clue what's going on there. I wouldn't mind if you went left. Thank you. VOR hype. Never flip on works. Right, Alea, so let's have a look. So two five left chart. Uh, we want to be at about five. Um wouldn't be about seven hit and hit and seal. We want to go down to five, really. So we'll bug seven. Yeah. I mean, we don't even need to go all the way to Sail Beach. What we can do is we can we can go towards LA and then we can make a, a straight in. Look at that scenery. It's so beautiful. This is uh, probably zoom in level 16 bing. Uh, the other stuff, uh, which is blue, which I have, every single one of my Google tiles is blue, so I, d I don't know what's going on there, really. Um, I need to redo them, but that they were supposed to be zoom level 15, just for space reasons. And, uh, go wings level there. So we've got 50 miles. We're going to lose uh, 20,000 feet. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not doable, really. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll take a little bit of a uh, lever of shame. Looks, uh, looks rather beautiful. Uh, the minimum altitude into um, LA is 3-0. No, it's not. It's, uh, yeah, it is. I'm lying. 3 zero four. So, we can set it here. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I'll do. There you go. Job is good. So we'll uh, we'll head down towards uh, LA. Again, we're gonna lose uh, seventeen thousand feet, give or take. The scenery is uh, beautiful, so ignore my dodgy piloting skills. Instead, we'll uh, we'll just enjoy the uh, the beautiful scene. Uh, that's it from me, and I'll catch you when we're a little bit closer towards uh, uh, the Seal Beach of Viwa.
All right, change of plan. Since we uh, sounded quite quickly with the uh, speed brakes, um, we're not going to go straight to Sail Beach and do a left downwind. We're literally going to go straight to the uh, to the uh, ILS. So 109.9 is our frequency. Uh, I'm going to let that speed come all the way down here. Uh, yeah, we've got like 2.20. So, 109.9. And the uh, final approach course is 2.51 today. We're just hugging the ILS right now. 2.51. Uh, I think, actually, we will make that left. Yeah, yeah. So, what we're kind of going to overshoot here. So, we're going to go on a heading of 1.20. Because there's no way we're going to capture the ILS from that. No, no way. I got a one hit actually. Uh, we got some lights. Nope. There you go. I mean, I could kind of like do that and it's just. Nah, it's just. Nah, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It's all good though. What we can do is. Uh, we'll descend a bit more. On oh, no, yes. And uh, we're going to overshoot that a little bit, but we're, we're going to come straight back in to 3,600, so just set that to 3. There you go, and we're going to loop it back in. It's a little bit of bob and weave, and we're kind of doing a little less turn. It's a weird one, Sh trust me. Right, I'm going to take flaps to 2 as well. Can I take flaps five? Uh, yes, I can. Flaps to five. Hello, baby. It's kind of a weird one. Uh, I will admit, like. We should turn, come on. Alright, right, that's perfect actually. That's actually perfect. So I'm going to arm auto approach, that will give us VOR, localizer, and glide in amber, which means it's armed. And, uh, I'm going to let that speed come all the way down. Oh, I didn't, I'll hold. Rip me. Naughty me. Come on, expert. See, that's a... Uh, that's a little... Uh, that'll always catch you out when you wear uh, the, uh, the, the alt hold stuff. Alright. Got 15 miles. Localizer is alive. Flaps five. Uh, we got 14 miles. We're going for two five left. That was uh, that wasn't bad. I'm really not bad at this now. Look at the whole salt vector. See, it's just a little less turn in and out, in and out. Absolutely perfect. Alright, we've got 13 miles. Start to see the glide make an appearance. Slowly start to come down. Sorry for the lag, that's a mixture of awful and the scenery. Uh, so we are flap 5 at 12, or is that 13 nautical miles? I don't even know. 12 nautical miles, yeah. And we're going to be uh, flap. 30, 123, so we'll land about 130. Speed die, it's about 180, it's all good. Glide slowly making an appearance. We'll, uh, we'll get flap 15 down before the glide kicks in, though. Everything else is set, apart from the auto brake, which can go medium. 
Uh, we'll ding the cabin, get them ready for uh, landing. Auto pack trip, we've got normal. Uh, there's glide, flap 15. Alright. My aircraft. Oh, that wind. <laughs> uh, we'll go, we'll bug 130. Which is that? Bit bright, huh? Oh, love the wind, thank you. Don't really, but just memes, bro. Flap 20, seven miles geared out. Doing a little bit of a chilly approach here, ladies and gentlemen, so we'll get that, uh, get that nose down. We'll do flap 25 with that. Six miles. The hydraulics are kicking in. Slowly catching that glide back up. Speed's good, 160. And we'll take flap 30 now, 5 miles. On first, the phase checked. Bang on the glide. Gonna get that uh, trim up there to keep the uh, to keep that. Otherwise, we're gonna dip below, which we have done. So, uh, bring that nose up, bring the speed power up even. Try and keep 130 knots. Any aliasing for the wind? It's two excesses here. Yeah. I think I need to do four really. You can see all the uh, the autogen is uh, it's fantastic. Unlike my flying, I'm gonna get glide slope warnings in a second. Just watch this this light up here. Alright, there you go. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Continue. There you go. See it. Told you. Bug that. Knew it was coming. Hold the flap. Come on. Beautiful reverses. Acceptable, man. It's 205.07. 0.99G. Beautiful. Right on that 1G mark. Manual brakes. 60. Store the reverses. Vacate the rights. Beautiful. Welcome to AliEx, ladies and gentlemen. Short final designs. Oh yeah. Woo! We will get, we will disarm the auto bricks. Uh, we'll get the, uh, the flaps up as well. Get a nice uh, flap view. Oh yeah. Get them spoilers in. Up come the flaps. Here the hydraulic uh, pump. Or hydraulic system B. Beautiful. All right. Let's have a look what we can do over here. 
We'll get the APU on three clicks. APU's coming alive. Coming alive. Uh, we can get the landing lights off, taxi turn offs, strokes. You can stay to your area. Alright, let's get the taxi chart up. And uh, off we pop. Uh, I honestly haven't got a clue where the parked. I mean, I could have kind of. Uh, 50B. 50B. It's on uh, Terminal 5. Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to taxi straight ahead. We're going to go Mike. And then we're going to go Charlie 9. So, uh, to number 5. So we'll, uh, add a bit of power. Brakes are released. That was uh, that was a good flight. Very nice. I'll uh, I'll fix that all for when we uh, when we get a bit close. We'll turn the uh, X-ray machine off it. So I'll uh, I'll delete all that all for I'll redo it in Bing so it'll look nice for the next time we fly. Yeah, that was a great flight. This was a great plane. Uh, it's available on the org for fifty nine ninety five dollars. Top of my head. It was a dear zero buy for me. All the strings was released. Fantastic plane. Fantastic. Right. So we're gonna take. Are we gonna take this right? We are indeed on mic. I'm gonna cross two five rights. Uh, we will we'll follow this taxi route line all the way around. That should take us to Charlie 9. Yeah, this is, uh, come on. This is beautiful scenery. A bit left, Charlie 9's here on the left. Everything is clear. So we'll, uh, we'll turn into Charlie 9. A Charlie 9 uh, if you, uh, if you wish. And uh, we'll make the right turn uh, here and uh, Bravo 50, it's 50B, yeah 50B is, uh, is all about. I'll right, we'll make the uh, left turn. We'll uh, get the turn off taxi off. All right, so we're looking for 50B. Is it over here? If it stops lagging. 56. Yeah, I think that's this end one here. Fifty-four. There you go, fifty B. I love the safe dock system. Arm breaks up. Right, we'll come to over here, or we'll come to the flight engineer's panel. We'll close up the APU and uh, and we'll turn off the engines, or we'll shut the engines down. Okay. 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 What the dock donuts thing? Oh. All to get it. Yeah. 
Beautiful, welcome down to LAX. Alright, we will turn off the beacon since the engines are shutting down. We're gonna turn off the probes. Seat belts can come off, and there's no smoking. We'll turn galley off, we'll get gas back. Cargo heat outflow, order pack trim, go to cut off. You're all open, that's fine, you can go to ground. APU, APU. And we'll get system B off. There we go. Job is a good. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys, to LAX from Phoenix in the uh, beautiful fly just sim sorry for the lag come on that's my old cpu just chugging up hope you enjoyed it guys please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe to the channel for more i'd appreciate it got a lot more videos uh, coming out if in explain and uh, as always thank you for your continued support i'm going to leave you with a couple of replays of this uh, landing into lax courtesy of the uh, x11 replay system which is fantastic. So that's it from me. Take care, guys, and happy flying.